Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, we will be reviewing an unusual and the inimitable book of philosophy and spirituality. The name of the unique book is Inner Engineering, A Yogi's Guide to Joy. It is written by Padma Bhibhusan Jaggi Basudeva, popularly known as Sadguru. Plato, the famous Athenian philosopher, had quoted that, quote, For a man to conquer himself is the first and the noblest of all victory, unquote. Inner engineering is also about conquering our bad habits, manners, and the behavior. It also lists out the step and the methodology to improve our level of awareness, joy, and the happiness, which is the main aim of our life. So today's video is going to be an interesting one. So hang around, friend, and enjoy the video. Please click the like button, share, and the comment on the video. If you haven't subscribed the channel, please click the subscribe button. Sadhguru is the renowned Indian yogi, spiritualist, and the author. He has delivered keynote speeches at the United Nations Millennium World Peace Summit, the House of Lords, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, United States of America, and the many other reputed institutes. He is the founder of Issa Foundation. This foundation has been involved in the field of spirituality, education, and the environment. He is also the author of books like Mystic Musing, Adi Yoga, The Source of Yoga, Encounter the Enlightened, and The Death and Insight Story. Most people in this present days are unhappy with their life. They may be facing various problems related to their children, their career, office life, personal life, etc. If you are one of them, then don't worry. Just read the book, Inner Engineering. If you apply the principle given in the book, then your life will transform for the better. Sadhguru had distilled his years of experience in this book. It showed us that we are limitless beings. And as such, nothing in this world can stop us if and only if we are trained to do so. Inner Engineering is a revolutionary book that will transform your life from the caterpillar to the probable beautiful butterfly if you apply the methodology and the teaching that Sadhguru has given in this book. The book is divided into two sections. The first section has six chapters and the second section section has five chapters. These chapters are filled with eye-opening and the perception changing insight that will captivate you, entertain you, and above all metamorphosize you. In the book, Sadhguru has written that self-transformation is achieved not by moral or attitudinal or behavioral changes, but by experiencing the limitless natures of who we are. So, this book is about appreciating the boundless essence of ourselves. The first chapter, titled When I Lose My Senses, opens with a beautiful poem about giving up oneself in the service of the divine will. It is a beautiful piece of poem which set the theme of the book in the beginning. This chapter tells us the spiritual experience that Sadhguru had at the Chamundui Hills. After the experience, he was renewed into a different man. It further lays down that spirituality is about enhancing your perception and your faculty of seeing. This is a noble way of looking at spirituality. In the chapter, The Way Out is In, talk about the well-being of ourselves. It tells us that the only thing that stands between us and the well-being is that we have allowed our thought and our emotion to take instruction from the outside rather than the inside of us. It also tells us the importance of peace and joy for a life well lived. If you want to know further about our well-being, then read this book. It will be a very important investment for your well-being. In the chapter title, No Boundary, No Burden, discusses the vital topic of stress. Stress has led to chronic diseases and the other unwanted events in our life. So controlling stress is of utmost importance. The chapter tells us that the simplest way to control the stress is to control your inner life. 
and uh, it also lays down the method of controlling our inner life. In the chapter Body, the utter analysis, the many wonders of our body, its healing ability, and its incomprehensible marvel. The body is the best just when it comes to food and the race. In this chapter, there is a subheading in sync with the sun, explaining the significance and the benefit of Surya Namaskar. Surya Namaskar, when done properly, benefit all the body part. It is not only a yoga pose, but it is more than that. You can realize all the benefit of practicing it regularly. Further, the book explains what is yoga. Yoga is a science of being in perfect alignment, in absolute harmony, in complete sync with the existence. Further, the book tells us about the five stages of yoga. In the chapter, Mind emphasizes the importance of controlling the mind. We will learn that there are two types of suffering, physical suffering and the mental suffering. Mental suffering is more harmful and the ways to elevate mental suffering has been given in this book. In this chapter, there is the subheading, the wishing tree, which narrates us about the state of mind. There are four states of mind. You can master your mind, then you can master anything in this world. The unique thing about the book is that in every chapter, there are simple practices for us, every name sadhana, which we can and should practice to reap the benefit of the principle given in this book. When you practice this sadhana, you will enjoy your life. This book is written in such a manner that you will be old at the inside of Sadhguru. This book is a must read for person who wants to read philosophical and a spiritual book. I will recommend this book for the person who have suffered a lot in their life. It will relieve the pain of suffering. That is all for today. Thank you for watching this video.